Howdy YouTube and welcome to this episode of Gunman's World. So I decided to do a bit of a tour of my office slash studio and gaming room and I'll also give you guys a bit of a look around the place, uh, my new house. So it's, it's a pretty nice place here. But we'll start off in here. Like this room here isn't finished but it's 90% uh, there. There's a few little finishing touches I want to do. So obviously first up I've got my computer and my work desk here. Um, I've got some PlayStation 3 games all loaded up in here, so that's pretty cool. This is actually something that my um, my grandmother gave me years ago. Um, I must have been, I was just a kid at the time. Um, she did it in what they call decoupage, so she'll cut these parts out and then stick them on and then she'll put like some kind of a, a varnish over the top, it's really cool. Um, yeah, it's just something that I've always uh, held close to my heart because I can tell, and you can probably tell too, there's a lot of work going into it. Um, so yeah, I've got the computer, I've got my webcam here, sort of do my recording for videos on. It's just a 1080p webcam, so it's not the best quality. I did notice last time I did a video on it, the video quality was just a little bit grainy, even, in, um, even on my computer itself, so... Um, the 4K webcams are really expensive and then you also run into extra problems of unless your computer is like really beefy and like later specs can um, uh, run into editing issues so you need to build video proxy files just to view it in your video editor so for now um, I'll just stick with the 1080p but in the future I'll definitely go 1080 once I do a computer upgrade um, that's the computer itself here I've left the sides off so it looks a little bit naked there um, I had this little thing going on uh, a little while ago. It's happened like three years ago for the first time. Like I'd, I'd turn it on and it, w it wouldn't actually boot up. It would just load, like cycle through this uh, this system where it tried booting. Um, and I reckon there's like a short in there somewhere. One of these hundred cables, there must be like the tiniest little nick in one of the cables and it's shorting out. But it's one of those things like it's working now. I just don't want to touch it. Like um, I'm scared that like if I move that cable in the wrong spot by putting the um, the, the sides on that, it, it's just going to uh, short it back out again. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I've got my guns here. Well, just a few of them. Got these four on display. I've got my uh, Gunman 100,000 subscriber plaque, which is pretty awesome. And as uh, mentioned by a follower, he said, man, you should paint it. Like, and I'm like, well, it's probably actually not a bad idea. I reckon I could do um, like a candy, uh, candy red over the top of the chrome finish already and maybe mask out the play button and that can either stay chrome or maybe even white so it'll sort of look like the um, YouTube logo, like a similar color scheme to the YouTube logo. Um, I've got my Nintendo 64, awesome custom painted Nintendo 64 here. Still looking killer. Um, this is one I just put up this morning actually. This is a um, airbrushing book. So it's a pretty cool little book there. Um, and I've got some of my original Nintendo games up here. Put that one back quickly. Um, I've also got, oh, there's my um, Gorillas little printout I did. Uh, this one here is actually a family heirloom. My great grandfather uh, bought that in Egypt during World War One, so it must have been around 1915, around that era. Um, he then gave it to his son, being my grandpa. My grandpa then gave it to my father. Um, and then when I turned 21, my, my dad gave it on to me. So if I ever have a son, it'll be going to him on his 21st birthday. Um, so that's that. I've got my big fat PS3 awesome system. Um, they can actually play all your PS2 and PS1 games. Well, all PS3s can play PS1 games, but the fat uh, PS3 will play all your PS2 games as well. I've got my PS2 and there's loads of assorted games down here. Um, got my Super Nintendo and a few games there. Starcraft 1 and 2, you know, Battle Chests. Got my PlayStation 1 there. Kind of un unuseful, really. Well, unused, really, because the only time I would ever want to play it is if I had a game file that I wanted to use from back in the day. 
off here. Otherwise, I would just use pair three. The only problem with the pair threes is that they can actually overheat. They do have overheating issues, and they're they're quite loud too. Like they sound like a bloody jet engine. Um, and this one here is just a few consoles on display, um, console boxes, sorry. Um, and I've actually got my Xbox, original Xbox sitting in here. Um, this is my gaming side of things. So when I play games, I've actually got a, um, a bean bag that I've got sitting in the lounge room at the moment. So I'll just sit down in front of this on my bean bag. And the only, the only console I've got set up is the SNES Mini. Um, SNES Classic Mini, so that's loaded up with, I think it's like 23 games or something like that anyway. Um, crank them out every now and then. I'd actually like to get it um, modded to have more games on there. Um, whilst there are a good selection of 23 games, there's actually heaps of good games on the Super Nintendo and no microtransactions and they're a bit simpler, like they're hard but they're just simple games, just, just down to the simple gameplay and you don't have to spend like tens of thousands of hours on them like some of the new games although there are big games on there like some of the rpgs on there are pretty awesome so that's about it for the games games room slash office um gives you a quick look around the rest of the house this is one of my bathrooms um this is the spare room in there this is the lounge room here so it's got these nice couches nice corner couch with mrs teddy this is my um that's my bean bag which when I'm playing games in there I'll just take the bean bag in as I mentioned before and I've got my um entertainment unit and got the Wii U set up, I've got the other play PS3, so that's the slim PS3 model. Um most of the time when I'm playing PS3 games I'll go for the slim PS3 because they're a bit more reliable um and they don't overheat and they're not so loud, so um yeah, I've just got a few DVD collections. Most of the time I'm watching either YouTube or Stan or Netflix though. Um, but these are just some good quality um, Blu-rays. So I've got like the Fast and Furious collection and just lots of documentaries that I want in like the full best quality you can get. And I found Blu-rays one of the best ones. Amplifier, just a cheap Sherwood one now. I used to have a good quality Onkyo. Well, how good quality it is when it blew up on me. <coughs> we were just sitting down watching um, uh, whatever it was one Friday night and the thing just bzzz, it just about blew up in our house and just about uh, lit on fire. So we've got a bit of a um, you know little bookcase over there with some family photos and stuff. So it's our bedroom in there and the missus is in there at the moment so I won't bother her. Um, kitchen, you know, it's a nice size. Um, one thing I wouldn't like didn't notice about this place, like it's new and it's all nice, you know, I can't complain, but just the build quality they've done on the house, it's it's just terrible. Like the workmanship that's gone into it, it's geez, it makes you wonder where the like the world's going. It's just kinda of like all about money these days, you know. So I bought a new new uh washing machine too. Um it's been a pretty expensive move. It's been like four or five thousand dollars, but honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, little things like having a big fridge. You know, like uh, the other one uh, after your shopping day, it was like jam packed, and you you like it would it'd be until Wednesday, and you'd be looking in there. Oh, that's right, I bought plums this week. You know, because they just buried them on uh, heaps and heaps of stuff in there. So pretty bare today because it's Saturday morning. So um, doing a big shop. <laughs> about to go down the shops but yeah all little things like this you know like a um, table and chairs uh, couches all that stuff soon adds up and can get expensive on the move but as I say like it's it is what it is and you know when you've got a back, bit of a backyard you've got a bit of a shed here and this is just full of boxes at the moment buddy all the boxes that we've had to buy stuff for the move um, and I've got a little bit of a garage in here it's tiny, well, not tiny, tiny, but it's small and pokey, but enough for me. Um, I bought a few things home from work that were just sort of cluttering up my bench at work. I'm gonna do a couple of videos at home, um, just some very small spot repairs and stuff like that. I don't wanna actually do any um, uh, like big jobs or anything here. So I don't know where that happened, but it's relatively recent and there's this very small dent there. So a lot of people um, want to do, sorry, want to see videos on using aerosol spray cans 
and you know things that you can just uh, get from your local super cheap auto or something like that so I'm gonna go down to super cheap get everything I need do it on the cheap as well just do a little spot repair on this and show people how it can be done at home but honestly apart from that I'm not gonna get comp I don't want to get compressors in here I don't want to get all loud and big spray fumes around my house um, you know I don't want to um, be just filling neighbors yards up with two packs and you know base coats and primers and all that stuff so I've got a little bit of a lemon tree over overlapping our yard which is handy don't have to buy lemons anymore and that's about it so yeah look I, I kind of don't know myself here it's just so good having that extra space because previously we were, we were literally in like a, a one bedroom apartment I just had a carport so no garage or anything um, <coughs> yeah it's, it's awesome here uh, yeah look I think I'll probably do like a bit of a follow-up video to this um, one other thing I wanted to do in my gaming room slash office is paint this table this it's actually just a coffee table it's a really cheap coffee table I bought but I thought it would be perfect um, originally actually when we first moved in that was our TV in the lounge room was sitting on this because it was just convenient and easy and you know for a week that was our TV um, stand but for now it's going to stay in here and I am going to take it into work I don't know what this is but it's some sort of a laminate or something I guess it must be so I'm going to take it into work if it'll very light sand down I don't want it to go furry um, or too much furry anyway because when you break into that um, particle board I guess it is or fiber board or something like that um, it can just go really furry so I'll just give a very light sand down maybe even some plastic primer because I've got a feeling that's actually some sort of plastic over there um, and then give it a good primer maybe even do, do a primer two times depending on how it reacts and then give it a custom paint job and maybe do some sort of like Nintendo logos on there or something and flake it out I don't know I'm just going to kind of make it up as I go along have a look what I've got maybe do some kind of a masking job on it um, but yeah, it should be awesome when it's done and just get it shining like all oh, ass, just flow coat the hell out of it and just get it, get it looking totally killer. I might, might have to like put the TV, put that like down or something, get a microfiber cloth to put the TV on so it doesn't scratch it or, you know, same thing for your, for your consoles, you can just put it on top of that so you're not sort of damaging the awesome flow coated finish. But that's about it for this vid there, Gunners. Um, I love it in here. It's, it's good to actually finally have my own office because previously it was just, um, yeah, in my bedroom or in the living room or something like that. So I um, hope you enjoyed watching. And until the next one, get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out.